Today is day two of living on the street. While I walk to work, I'll share the story of how we got here. early and it's time to pack everything up. Unbelievably, our propane hack, if you saw in a previous vlog, still working. It's unbelievable how far a gallon gets you. Well, we didn't use a lot of propane heat either, but it's time to put all this stuff away and then Lady Jupes moves on. successfully left camp. We've got fuel, we've got propane. In fact, we're getting propane right now. And I haven't really decided where we're going. We're gonna figure it out pretty quick. But my choices are Hadia's office, which is a known quantity and safe, or parking near the studio, which in my opinion has some risks, but major convenience too. So that's my two choices I'm stuck between as I'm sitting here, as we're filling up. I don't know which one I'm gonna pick yet. at our sneaky boondocking location. I decided to go for the one by the studio and it's a city street where it's a little tiny city road that sits between several businesses. No one quite owns it, except for the city, so we can get away with parking here for a couple of days. Well, probably at least 48 hours. I don't know, pushing it, might be pushing it beyond that. But it's a nice little spot in terms of convenience. It also challenges some of my assumptions because it's next to It's next to where some homeless people live. And it's a good amount of homeless people. There's some woods not too far from this spot. And in these woods, it's sort of, it's sort of become a homeless encampment. And this spot is in the path between wherever they're going to back to their home. So there's a lot of homeless people that are walking through here. Now, I don't want to sit here and say that just because they're homeless, that means they're going to be criminals or more violent. Uh, but it makes me a little nervous because now I have my I have my house parked in their in their pathway. There's a group of folks where I think they're walking to work too, which is an interesting thing. It's interesting they live in the woods, but they obviously are walking to work. I hope this just sort of helps challenge some of my assumptions about people that are down on their luck. Who knows why they choose to live in the woods? I choose to live in an RV, so that's one of the things I'm hoping to get out of the spot. Not to mention, it's extremely convenient to get to the studio, guys. Now I'm walking to work, and I just discovered a couple of minutes ago that one of the shows I'm doing today was canceled. Which actually kind of makes me feel better, because that means I can come back to Lady Jupes in a, in a shorter amount of time and check in and see how, how things are going. So our RV is about 50 yards that way. And this field is the entrance to the homeless camp. Uh, that guy over there on a bike, is one of them. I just talked to him a bit ago, he didn't want to be on camera. Uh, he doesn't seem, his bike's a nice bike, it's a nicer bike than I could afford. He doesn't seem hard off, but uh, yeah, they live out there. So there he goes.
I've owned the building that the studio is in for a decade and I've never known there's a homeless camp over there. I don't know how new it is. I didn't notice until I started flying the drone around this place. And I saw their tents in uh, the last vlog. If you look at the last vlog, before I start approaching the studio, you can see tents in the forest. And what the heck? So I flew the drone back over there and sure enough, it's like Tent City. Like a decade, I've been here for a decade. Never noticed that. I guess I'm just busy doing my own thing. So you might be wondering, hey Chris, why the Hobo Act? Why are you living on the street? Two reasons, one of them practical, one of them more philosophical. Let's start with the practical. This is the Beard's last day in town. Then he's gone for a week. He migrates home. Now the Beard, aka Rikai, edits all of the JB shows, with the exception of this vlog. And so when he goes, that means that work shifts to me. And unlike past years, there's a lot more business things that I do during the day too. So what we're trying to do is do a double episode of some of the shows that would take place while he's gone. So it's super convenient for the next couple of days to be really close to the studio. Well, today and yesterday. I've been able to, I'm minutes away, I can walk here. That's made doing double the shows and double the preparation much more possible. That's reason number one, very practical, very boring. Reason number two, I've recently started trying to do things that scare me. I'm like watching from a distance as I walk up to see if anything looks suspicious, but it's all good. People hanging around, but everybody just seems to be minding their own business around here. Look who's home. Oh. Come on, baby. Let's go eat. Hey, hey, let's, let's walk. Yeah. Let's walk. Don't let me forget I have the TV antenna up, okay? The TV antenna up. So we thought, since we're locals right now, let's just walk to a local restaurant. Why not? It's like, it's kind of the advantage of being here. And, and you're feeling good about staying here tonight? You're not oh, worried? Yeah. yeah. Okay, so it's official. We're gonna go feed ourselves, and then we got a fun project to finish off the evening. Is it a good dinner? So good. All right, you ready to walk back to Jupes? Now it's project time. Where, wherever that is, let's go there. Wow. What you working on over here, sweetie? I'm just drawing hearts and making shit happen. Ah, the next big endeavor for Lady Jupes. Day three on the streets. It's time to move. But first, we have to take care of something that's been bothering me for a couple of weeks, and I think it's finally come to Chris's attention that we need to deal with it too. So we have the morning free, we're gonna take care of it. I really need to get a haircut. It's, you know it, I know it, she knows it. Oh yeah, I know it. You've been thinking it, and uh, this is like the first day in like three days that I'm not recording multiple shows, so we're getting taken care of. This is nearly a medical condition. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right, we're here. We'll see you on the other side. That's better, right? Oh, yeah. Is that better? Much better. Do you like it? All right, that was thanks to Tiffany. All right, now we're moving the rig for real. We got something, we got, we got somewhere in mind that's a little, a little out there, but it might help us get a few tasks done. With a big trip coming up, we need to take care of some essentials for Lady Jupe. So our next destination is all about somewhere we can get dirty, work on the rig, not make a mess at a campsite or in the street. So we're headed to the junkyard. Chris 
just gonna go out there and check to see if the outlet on the side of the shop is working. We blew it last time we were here. So that's not gonna say. No, no go. Power. Boy, that'd have been a home run. Yeah. Uh I might do one more walk around. Spiders are the least of my concern in there, and that's telling you something. Ew, what's it's, in there? I think that's where they hang bodies. I'm not sure. I think that's where the homeless people that live in the forest You're over there. You're shitting me, what? What? It's gross. It's not really that gross, but it's close to it. But the outlet works, so I think we can get a little bit of power from it. We can't go crazy, but we can... So what you're telling me is that you're always in charge of plugging and unplugging that spot? <laughs> <laughs> I guess so, huh? There's our outlet. Totally accessible. Yeah, much better looking outlet. Much better outlet. Yeah. So we're going to be taking our 50 amp rig and plugging it into an extension cord. Yeah. So essentially our RV is the capacity of one surge protector. So that's the math to do when we're using it. Yeah, we're going to have to be careful about that. And it yeah. will automatically use battery too, no. right? No. I mean, once it blows this, it will. It'll just okay. draw. So, it, so it's not going to like even it out carefully. It, it's not smart enough to do that. We could get a system yeah. to do that, but that's thousands of dollars. Damn. Moment of truth. It's going ground first. That was pretty painless. Yeah. I think going ground first prevents that spark I got last time I did that. Oh, yeah. Forgot oh, about that. Power. Yay! This was a good call. All right, have a safe trip, Beard. See you next Bye. Time. See you on Tuesday. Yep. Yeah, okay, bye, Beard. Yep. Just dropped off Rikai. He's going home back up to Maine, which means no Beard at the studio for a week. So A, I have the place myself, but B, no editor. I knew this day would come. <laughs> I knew this day would come. What do I do? No, we'll be all right. We'll be all right. We pre-recorded.